money fall on you, banana fall on you. Yes, David at the lake, Davido, he blew it all up. Regardless of the little here and there, this lady, after all, they say in life there must be something that will always bring a man out. Of course, in Davido's case, his own thing is women. But all through this, Davido has been able to push through. Davido has been able to press through. Davido has been able to get his things done. Well, he did his thing at Madison Square and he really, he really killed it. I mean, he really killed it. And um, you see, you're about to see some more things. He did perform and not just that alone. Davido did something that uh, majority of um, New Yorkers, I mean, American music artists, um, he did something for them, something that majority of them often would not have the opportunity to, to, to get. You know, many of them would not have the opportunity to enjoy such. He brought in, he brought in some of uh, those uh, Yankee artists underground artists i mean the upcoming artists he brought them on stage like you know what guys new york new york i am here i am here you guys you need to like step up now asap come up and perform with me let the world know you and that's a good thing he was able to bring them up and they did what they did and they performed many of them at their faces you know alongside davido now i saw some comments some of those Americans say, who is Davido? They don't even know who Davido is. Like, who is Davido? Well, I'm dropping a shocker to you girls and guys over there. Y'all all need to know that Nigeria is stopping the chat. It is no longer American music in Africa. No, not at all. Back in those days, you guys were, the, you were, you had your time anyway. No, no, no one is hating on anyone. You had your time. And now it is the time of those People like you who are in Africa, you see, the remnants as they are called, they were left in Africa, they remain in Africa whilst your um, ancestors, um, our ancestors were carted away down to the Caribbean and down to the US. So it's all the same, happy family. It is just the location that is different, you see. So Davido did what he did and then um, everything rocked. It was, so, it, was so, it was so fine. I mean, everything was so great. Now, a lady came up and uh, she had this, I mean, Davido called this lady up. She had this uh, bill banner. She had this banner and she wrote some things on this banner. Davido spotted it and called this lady up like, hey, babe, come up. Let's watch. Now, you see, whenever good things are happening, Nigerians have who bad have their own coming up to say something. So now, let's read this one. About David Do and how they think. And according to Will, Big Will said, play David Do and so his team lame and his funny, so bro. Lame and funny. With a laugh emoji. Someone beg for money. Someone with a banner beg on a for music money. concert with a banner con con uh, collected the on banner a music the concert. Call the girl say, upstage in a music still concert. Give our mic to see a question mark. Set. Right there, you still the collected the banner telling everybody and showed the track. crowd bro, bro, with a question bro, mark. The African man. Call the girl people poverty upstage. No with question mark. Give an F. You still gave her Make mic to okay. say it you by herself. With a question back. Serious. Right there. You are just trying to trend. You are on. absolutely. I think that's what this person wants to write. Instead of saying in. that was stage. Absolutely the stage you are crazy telling you. everybody yeah, how much you're giving are. 
Because bro, David don't bro, come on stage to raise this the banner. Is Have you not seen Drake? African man, they can thrive on Drake people's poverty in the US. No is one he, got been scripted. What that? You know, what nonsense is that? I mean, absolutely what is crazy. thriving on people's poverty? Absolutely. Are you saying people absolutely. do not have lack? We are sick of them. In and America. Guess what? We, what about America. countless homeless people? We are they all dealing on we hard substance? What about people who had a stroke of bad luck? What's we going on here? Never move from what's going on what's going on from the state lack is we lack has never gone anywhere apart from poverty is poverty and we it's as simple as abc you find people who are poor in europe you find them in, in america city. is fake particularly america the there are a lot of poor people there can you imagine a lot of you poor people there in fact americans complain go there of yes <laughs> their government it's crazy, guys. Use of money. Up to like, bro. why are you nah. using Just money the rest of the to video cause and, and create mayhem in other countries? Just to appear. I use the word carefully. Appear superior. But we have issues here. We have internal issues here. So, what is this thing? It is no longer news that majority of Americans have that student loan. The burden of it on them. They have it on them. So what is this thing? They have student loan. It's not like they it's free like that. Like they, they have free education, free tuition. In fact, there are some European countries that are better off than the US. US US does not mean that life is smooth there. It's what you can make for yourself there. There are European countries that are far, far better. Far, far way better than the US of A. Why? I break it down so you understand how things work because majority don't have clear understanding clear pathway i'll tell you see there are three important things in a country back in those years we were taught this in primary school secondary school it's called social studies one accommodation is it easy to buy mortgage and apartment loan in the US than some of these European countries? Two, medical. Do you have free access to it? How is it paid for? Very important. Some European countries, they have a way around it that makes it easier for you. You don't have to now get this uh, life insurance or get health insurance and all of that. The way it is done in America, oh, we cannot cover, your insurance cannot cover. And you know how it is, they start looking for how to get themselves sorted out. In the US, health, is it super? In the US, we've seen countless people come out to, you know, cry because, uh, I'm sorry, I need healing. Pray for me, tell evangelists pray for me because my health insurance, my doctor said, that it cannot pay for this terminal, it can't pay for this and that. What about food bank? Don't you have them in the US? Like, if everyone is rich, or let's not even use rich, if everyone is okay, they can fend for themselves. Why do you need food bank? Poverty has different face. That's the thing. Poverty can have a modern look. You see, so what they have in the U.S. is a modern look of it, like a modern face of it. Suffering is suffering. It's as simple as ABC, regardless of your location. Oh, no, the one in Africa. Africa is a continent, not a country. Oh, the one in this is so, oh, they are less than a dollar. That's because you're equating your currency to their own currency. That's why it doesn't really make sense. Poverty is poverty everywhere in the world. You might have more people poor. Now, we are talking about percentages, so I don't see anything like, you know, trying to be... No, poverty is poverty. Poverty is poverty. It's as simple as ABC. So I've made mention of health, education, is it free, accessible, accommodation. That's it. These are the basic things that people want. So there are some European countries that are even far better. There are countries in Africa that, you know, they, they, are, they, they have access to this accommodation, easier for them. Maybe they might not have the help. You know, it's always like that.
So paying for someone's tuition fee does not mean that, oh, the person is trying to script play. What is $50,000 when you are comfortable? Or you think it's like those American artists, some of them, like what Akon said, that it's all packaging. They come, they, they perform, they whatever they do, they get paid $50,000, $100,000. The percentage they get is not that much, but their record label will package them and make them appear big. No, you don't play in Nigeria. You are either there or not there. Whenever anyone wants to come up with this American packaging thing, it causes mayhem and chaos. At the end of the day, people lose their life because no one wants to be cheated. That's what happened to Mobad. He left the record label like, enough, man, I ain't doing this. I don't want to cruise Range Rover that I don't own every time. At least let me be able to get something. Nigerians don't play. That's the truth. Akon said it. He said, look, in America, you see those guys squeezing the cool, they, 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 you see them with the Bentley and all of that in the music video. When they are done with the music video, they call Uber. But in Nigeria, these guys own their vehicles. Meaning, what they do, they do. Like, no one's going to rip one person. Look at Puff Daddy or P. Diddy. Recently, he released the album or whatever it is of the artist that was signed to his record label that he managed. He released it recently when he felt like it's useless. There, is, there are new sounds now, catalog or something. There are new sounds now and these guys cannot match up to them. He now released it to them like now you guys can have it. Imagine how long he kept it to himself. In Nigeria, we don't play that nonsense shit what do you guys think of this one drop your comment like and share see you in the next update